growing up and have the best childhood. Um, my father was incarcerated until I was four years old and living with my mom, it was, it was just me and her. <laughs> As we tried to figure out what to do, what our next day was, when my dad came into the picture, there was definitely more abuse. There was um, a lot more emotional abuse, especially on my mom. Um, overall, my dad took care of us. He was a good father to me and my little sister. When I was 14, he committed suicide, and that left us all in a spiral. Within the next month, we were evicted from our home and that's when I decided to live with a friend. And that worked out for about a year. And some complications happened and I had to move. And so that's when I started living like from house to house. Uh, I lived with my friend Matt for a few days. I lived with uh, my ex-girlfriend for about a week. But eventually I landed at my aunt's house, um, where my mother was also residing at the time. And due to a lot of complications and things, I ended up at Pathways. At some point, I tried to have my family meeting with my mom, and it didn't, it didn't go well. She had ceased all contact with me for a bit, and so hospital had no way to discharge me, I had no place to like let me go. And because I was underage at the time, you know, there was nothing they could do. I had remembered from a few weeks ago about reading something about the sparrow's nest of Norfolk, Montana. I'd sent an email to Jeremy at one point and he said the house wasn't open, open yet. And so uh, I just forgot about it up until I landed in the hospital, conveniently. <laughs> and um, I talked to my my therapist there, and I told her about it. And she printed out all the necessary items for me. Um, I got a hold of Jeremy, and by August 1st, I was moved in here. My name is Esteban Torres. I was 17 when I came, and I'm 18 currently. I'm going to college this next year. I'm going to be a freshman at MSU. How has Sparrow's Nest in Northwest Montana impacted your life? Oh, definitely giving me a, a stable home and... I don't know. Just a stable place to be where I can have food, shelter, water, and not have to worry about that. Not worry where I'm going to have to sleep next. Um, has definitely helped me in every way possible, including getting a job, graduating high school, especially. Um, I don't know, living couch to couch, I don't think I would have been able to do that. Just having that stable place, stable foundation, this place that will take you to all your appointments, all your school things that you want to do, your extracurriculars, um, definitely helped. <laughs> you know, growing up, um, it was hard to do all those things and be okay at home. Living with students and stuff, uh, it's definitely been different. And new staff members, you know, learning how each of them work, how each one has a different music taste. <laughs> the most challenging part would definitely be um, living in a place with structure again. Um, you know, for, for the past two years prior to living there, there was no structure. Um, it was just me figuring out how to survive, uh, where I was going to sleep next, what, how I was going to eat next. You know, switching from those survival instincts to living in a home was definitely difficult. That was a difficult move for me. The most um, influential thing and positive thing that I can say definitely happened was when the majority of the staff showed up at my graduation. Um, 
or just when staff went to my concerts or they congratulated me on like my plays, my speech and debate stuff. Um, for a while, I haven't gotten that from really anybody. <laughs> It felt nice for someone to genuinely care about all that. Um, because I do put a lot of hard work into those things. Graduating, I almost didn't graduate. And it was definitely a celebration for me at graduation. And to have people there to come support me and actually care that I graduated was so impactful. <laughs> You guys' empathy, all of you guys have so much empathy, and all of the students here can definitely tell what you guys care about us. Each one of us definitely has one person that we can talk to that we feel some kind of connection with just because they reached out and shown us that they care. Something that we're not all necessarily used to. I mean, we're used to getting a lot of sympathy from people of, oh, you're, you're homeless? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But you guys are out there actually making a difference. 